All right, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Parker and I post random stuff on my YouTube channel. Lately, it's been a lot about the vending business. Today, we have only four locations to hit up, but there is a bit of drive time in between them, so that's gonna take up a decent amount of the day. Got all the snacks already loaded up in the car. No Sam's Club trips today. Just straight collections from four machines one to two week and the other three are one weeks and depending on how this collection goes I might move some to all of them to two weeks or maybe even a three week collection trying to really lock in my route and make sure that I'm only going to machines that need to be serviced and not just wasting my time going there just as something to do I'm tired of pulling out twenty dollars out here and $20 out there so yeah see you guys in the car all right so I just got a message from the guy that's uh, replacing my bill acceptor and it looks like I'm gonna be able to get my bill acceptor replaced for one of the machines which is good. Hopefully that happens today. All right, just got to my first location, pulling up right now. And we're in downtown Houston. Very, very nice area, I must add. We out here, man. We're not going nowhere, man. From the inner city to the suburbs. In the last two years. I gotta hurry though, cause I gotta book it to like 40 minutes the other way to meet the bill acceptor guy. what's going on guys I uh, just decided to hop into a quick AFC bending mode quick play mode with the narration um, hopefully you guys will like it um, but yeah you saw I just filled up the ruffles I put about eight back there um, and right now I'm filling up the back selections with Funyuns hot sp spicy Funyuns and the closer ones with hot Cheetos. This location can eat some hot Cheetos, so definitely want to put a couple in there. Um, also, I filled up the Doritos. I, I didn't film it, but I put a couple more back there. They were just towards the bottom of my bag, so I had to pull that selection back out again, but also I'm adding the Raspberry Knots cookies and the Chex Mix um, to that selection right there and of course the chocolate and I don't fill up the chocolate like I should be um, I had a conversation with Sean the hustler you guys know him um, he was telling me bro like you're losing out on profits you need to be stocking up that chocolate more and he's right I need to start doing that um, chocolate's really expensive and I didn't have enough chocolate to stretch the day so I did what I had to do in this situation and I only filled about three, four, five back, if that. And definitely my profits are gonna pay for that probably. Also, of course you gotta have the big Texas cinnamon rolls. If you guys don't have those in your machines, I definitely recommend them. Um, super good, they sell really good as well as the cupcakes as you can see I'm putting in right here those sell amazing uh, I used to run white powder donuts but those expired way too quick and no one was really buying them so I figured that these ones work a lot better also thank you guys I'm almost at a thousand subs let me know if you guys want some exclusive merch some hype beast merch I'll definitely get to that if you guys are interested all right I actually filled that one up pretty quick I was like an overdrive 
speed. I gotta get over to this location because the guy's already on his way and I'm 30 minutes away. So, time to floor it in the old 97 Tacoma. All right, so I just got here. I guess I beat the guy here. So, now I'm waiting for him. One hour later. All right, so, an hour later, the guy came, we got the bill acceptor fixed, and it's on to the next location. Super cool guy though. He has a massive manufacturing business. He manufactures uh, vending machines and stuff. So super cool guy, good contact to have, and I'll definitely be talking to him more in the future about new machines, new boards for machines, card readers, all types of stuff. So, shout out to him. On to location number three. All right, I just left the third location. This is what it looked like. Not that good, but yeah. On to location number four. Here was the last location. This was one week. And it's on to the last location of the day. All right, so I didn't film at the last location because my camera died as soon as I was heading in. Um, but yeah, so we just got home and it is time to count up the money and give you guys the totals. And Alyssa joined us today. She looks so cute in that outfit. All right, so the first location did $59 flat after two weeks. Location number two did $28. And that one I wasn't even gonna go to, it's normally a two week collection, but that's the location that I got the bill acceptor fixed at. Hence, that's why there's no dollars and only coins, but it's fixed now, so that location should do better. All right, location number three did $22.15. Location number four did $36.85. And that was after and that was after one week. Alright, the last location, location number five, did $31.75. Now we're gonna get you guys the totals. And that was a one-week collection. Alright, so the total for today is $177.75. That doesn't look like 75 cents extra, but we mix them. Yeah, we mix them up with some some other ones to make the rolls, but 177.75 divide that by 5 locations to find the average for the today. 35.55 average per location. Still not very good, but what can you do? You can install card readers, but we're not to that point yet, but we need to be. So, that's it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed <laughs> this one, and we will see you guys in the next one. Peace.